Welcome back survivors. Disturb Z here and we are back in Space Crew. Alright guys, so we've got we've got some new gear. We gotta go check out our new gear. Let's go see what we got going. We have got What? What is it that we've got? We've got a new suit. So this suit actually, wow, that gives us extra radiation protection, a lot of armor, but it gives us like no mobility. Uh, and then what do we got for boots? We've got powered boots. So if I were to put on powered boots versus what do we got here? We've got armored boots. So if I lose five armor, and I would take off the minus 20 on that one. I would put it on. Hmm. Okay, okay. So as of right now, we are at 68 on movement speed. So if I were to do this, that would boost us up to plus 30. So that'd be 98. And then minus 45. I want that I want that heavier armor but I don't know uh, okay we're gonna skip it for right now <laughs> I so do want it though I do you know what hold on before we do that let me go back because our engineer dude who keeps taking a lot of the brunt we might need to get him like something going here he has engineer gloves he has armored gravity boots you know what? Let's take off the armored gravity boots because we never really utilize the whole anti-gravity thing because we're just, I don't know, we're just never in position when it happens, I guess. Or we need to do, you know what? We need to do that. We need to try it. I, I forgot that we had the gravity boots on him. We need to try that before we knock it. So next time we get boarded, I'm going to cut the gravity and then I'm going to send him out and we're going to see what happens. Alright, so what do we got here? We've got what? We've got all that. We've got, oh, is it a new reactor? No, we've already got the new reactor, right? Yeah, we've got the new reactor. New med bay. Okay, so we're at 450 and 3. That's 250 and 8. 704. That's pretty good. And 350 and 8. I think this one would probably be our best bet. Let me go ahead and get the new medical bay. Okay, our new weapons. Do we got this? Is the new rail gun? It is the new rail gun, and unfortunately, we're 400 bucks shy because we just bought the new med bay. Okay. All righty then. So we are on the standard engine MK2. We've got the agile engine MK2. That's plus 50 on speed. And the low emissions. And so we would take... Oh, it'd be this way. No, that's 200 less on the armor. And it would provide lower, lower radiation, but... I'm already equipping our guys for radiation, so that's not that big of a deal. Whereas, I think a faster engine would give us a better turnabout turnaround than the low emissions one. I mean, we'd be at zero. We just lose a little bit of armor, but then again, if we don't get hit as much then it's, you know, even better. What about our escape pods? What do we got here? We've got the MK3, an excellent escape pod. It has very strong chances of an automatic recovery. If that fails, there's a strong chance that the pod can be tracked and recovered. Okay. So those would be the, the upgrading. Literally, the only difference is, is you get an additional stripe. All right. Uh, <laughs> We're going to have to go get some more money. We are going to have to go get some more money. All right, so what have we got here? We've got explore the Delta Quadrant. We must begin mapping the region 
head to the Delta Quadrant and release a mapping probe so we can expand our jump gate network. Didn't we already do this one? I could have sworn we've already done the Delta Quadrant. Uh, let's see. Clear out Phasmid Forces. That's a straight shot. Just get over there and get it done. Expand Hyper Jump Gate Network. That's the one where we got to escort. Yeah, that's the escort mission. Explore the Beta Quadrant. That's the new one that we got to do. And then eliminate the champion. Who is the champion? Anga Hanky. Hanky. Hockey. I don't know how you say their name. Anga. We're going with Anga. Uh, so anyway, that would give us 10,000 uh, credits and 1,000 research. You know, honestly, I think we could probably take her. Um, I'm going to say we go ahead and do it. Yeah, let's do it. I know it's a high-risk mission, but I believe that our ship is capable of it. Not only that, but we do have the fighter squad and we do have the other uh, the other cruiser that we can throw in there. So it's you know one of those deals. I think I think we can bring enough firepower. I'd love to have had the new railgun to assist me, but you know what? It's one of those things. One of those things. All right, let's jump on through to the other side. All right, what do we got? Where are we at? We're going here to the objective. Yep, we're going there. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, we've got the bad guys coming in. Go ahead and hit them up on defensive. I'm going to take one out of my shields and put it into my engines. That way we're a little bit more quicker, faster. Yeah, I like that. I like that 42% evasiveness. I would love to get it up over 50, though. I think that's why the next set of engines we get that have a boost, I think we're going to go ahead and get those. That way we can, we can be a little bit quicker on our evasiveness. The less we get hit, the better. Yeah, see, it's just hard for them to hit us. The less we can get hit, plus the heavy shield, so that when we do get hit, and then the heavy armor... Yeah, that's, that's like a killer combination out there. Heavy armor, heavy shields, and the ability to dodge attacks. Yeah, that's... Come on, hit him. Got my gravity gem. All right, we saved all of our things for the next one. Come on. There we go. Alright, so this is... This is where they're at, right? Okay, let's go into defensive. Nope, we got something that broke. Okay, go fix that. I 
Alright, now that we've got everybody in, calling fighter support, calling them, do a performance check. Let's go ahead and do a boost. Do this, do that. Give me another one, give me one on my engines. Let's go ahead and focus some fire. Okay, we're on defensive, yes. Wow, that's a lot of incoming fire. Okay, you're gonna have to get off of that. You're gonna have to recharge our shields. Replenish the shields. Get back on there. Oh! We did it? Wow, we did it. All right. I didn't even realize we were doing it. We were just going after things. Uh, I guess let's get out of here. That's cool. Ha. Yeah, I was getting ready to like move people around and do stuff. No, we done, we done ate them up. Yeah, the ability for them to run away is like the only thing that saves them in those little skirmishes where they come and attack us. If they remove that, I'd probably win every time. Because yeah, we can we can literally outmatch them between my ship, the other cruiser, and the fighter squad all at the same time. Yeah, we can basically outgun them. So that's cool. I like that. Alright, what is this? We got a scannable. Go ahead and scan that bad boy up. Okay, we got that. Let's go ahead and go back to the base. And of course, O2 is about to go down. back over here because I need that shield boost. Boost. Add one to the shields, two to the weapons, and one to the engines. Go into defensive. Focus fire. I wonder if I can boost at the same time. Boost all those weapons. Oops, wrong way. I wonder if I did like a super boost by running them with two different ones. I really need that upgraded rail gun. It's not hitting as hard as it used to. It hits hard against the weaker ships, but these bigger ships, it doesn't quite impact as well. Take it out before it grabs us. Oh, actually, you know what? I was going to uh, take out the gravity. What's the matter, little guys? That actually worked fairly well.
Yeah, cutting the gravity off, like... <laughs> I kind of like that. I got to remember, cut the gravity first. Oh, no, it has that symbol because it doesn't have power. I'm like, why is it broken? No, it's because... Because I don't have it on... Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think we're just going to leave the gravity cut off on the... Uh, on the gravity generator until we need it. I think I'll put it on wet on shield weapons and engines and just leave it like that because that seems to be the better thing. Have that extra on engines versus gravity. Yep, that's going to be the plan I'm going to go with for now. No gravity and extra extra engines. Ooh, did I just... I canceled it. Alright, engage. I don't like the little flashy thing though. I think that there should be like a better way to uh, let me know that something's not powered. All right. Well, we got some money now. And we got a little bit of tech. Oh, what do we got here? Battle Helmet MK3. Heavily armored combat helmet. It provides great protection at the expense of mobility. Aww. I was hoping it was going to have like radiation and oxygen and everything else, but no, it doesn't. Balance Reactor MK3. A balanced ship reactor provides a fair bit of power and it's reasonably tough. Fast charge shields and standard plating MK5. That is five. Not one, not two, not three, not even four, but five. Yeah, it doesn't have any of the good stuff. None of the good stuff, so I'm not even worried about it. Alright, first things first. Weapons. Railgun. We're going heavy with that railgun. Yes, I want the increased railgun back there. I want to be able to hit them, and I want to be able to hit them hard. Alright, so we got that. The systems. I don't really need any systems. Armor. Armor's always needed. That increases it by 750. Yeah, 750. Uh, that's a lot. That is a lot. But I'm going to do it. I am going to do it, guys. Let's go ahead and install that one. We'll install that one. Do I have enough to get a third one? Yep. I don't have enough for the last one. Alright, so unfortunately... The rear plating is not there, but you know what? That's okay, because it's only a handful of hit points extra. So, it's not going to make or break anything. Alright, in this one, we've got to do the escort. Or we can do this one. Um... I say we explore. Okay. So I say let's go to the fastest route. Because why not? Charge it on up. And engage. Alright, so we've got the heavier railgun. We've got heavier armor. Oh, we're by gravitational anomaly. Oh, lovely. Um, yep. 
Yes, okay. Let's see what the new railgun does. Defensive, let's go here. Let's take out gravity, add to the engines. Okay. Go ahead and do a focus fire. extra five to ten points of damage just to make it hit a tad bit harder so I think I'm gonna leave it on there because I like the I like the addition of a rail gun and one missile launcher so I think we're gonna leave it with that it'd be nice if they had like a super strong beam weapon the beam weapon they got's kind of Kind of stuff far in my mind. It needs to be a little bit, a little bit stronger. Of course, then again, I just like stronger weapons. So. <laughs> they could be perfectly balanced, and I just want more out of it. Yes, there we go. There we go. All right, where is? There's our objective right there. Oh, why is there a mothership here? Why is there a mothership? Go attack. Boost. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I just wonder out of curiosity. What happens if uh, I hit the EMP right now? Does that disable the mothership too? All right, so we've got to eject the uh, probe now. All right. Uh, let's go fast this route. I mean, we just killed a mothership. I mean, what else do you want from me? What else do you want? That's two motherships we've killed. Two. Yeah, I was not expecting to pull up on another mothership. That caught me a little bit off guard. I'm just glad there wasn't a champion, too, because that would have been just, like, way too much. Focus fire boost. Focus fire boost. Focus fire boost. Focus fire boost. boost on the weapons? Yeah, that's gonna hurt them. Here we go. 
Yeah, don't even let them come up on us. Yeah, a double boosted railgun doesn't work. And we're out. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see if we can't get a level off of this. No level. We tried though. Alright, so what do we got now? We've got powered gravity boots one. Uh, even when they are blah blah blah. Okay, personal shield. Personal shield reduces the damage taken from attacks on board the ship. And then we got the plasma cannon plus the railgun MK2. Okay. Very interesting there. So I think first off, I'm going to go here. I want to check out these new powered boots. Give me my engineer. Let's go to the custom loadout. Let's go down here to this. And let's see here. Powered boots is five this, five speed. Those are armored boots. Wait. Why are you wearing... Oh, those are the armored gravity boots. Ew, these are just powered gravity boots. Ew. Yeah, armored gravity boots. So, yeah, if I do... I mean, these are better because I'm still going to get... I'm going to get a plus speed instead of a negative penalty. Yeah, armor's the same. Yeah, why don't we do why don't we do that to all of them? Yeah, let's do that to everybody. Just give everybody these boots. That way no one has an issue walking around. They still provide some protection. So why not? Okay, what else do we got now? We've got a personal shield. Eh, I'll skip. Not too worried about that one. Let's see, what did it give us on our stuff? Oh, yeah, it gave us those one weapons. Yeah, we're good. We are good. No need to look any further there. All right, guys. Well, that's another mission down. Another champion down. Another mothership down. And we are looking good. But that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.